sex over people. It's not just a bumper sticker or a meme. Many animal lovers would risk their lives for their beloved pets, like this woman whose dog was swept into a swollen river. She didn't think twice about jumping in after him. But this heroic gesture turned heroin when both owner and animal were caught in a rushing currents, leading to a daring water rescue. Dispatch went out for a person and a canine that had fallen into the water. When I saw Scooby get trapped in there and I saw how quickly he was moving, I actually just dropped all my stuff and jumped right in. The current was so strong that it was knocking me off my feet. You have multiple victims and they're moving targets. I was terrified. When you think of Southern California, you might envision golden beaches, surfers, and crashing waves. But the city of Los Angeles also has a series of waterways that flow to nearby lakes and reservoirs, and of course the Pacific Ocean. LA River is fed by tributaries that run throughout the San Fernando Valley, um, going from the foothills down into the basin. The Los Angeles River is very unique. It's whole point is to really get water out of LA as quick as possible when it rains. So when we have the anticipated rain coming in, we're going to proactively pre-deploy our experts, the Swift Water Rescue Team, who uh, will be in different key areas. Los Angeles first responders use their state-of-the-art equipment to do nearly 60 Swift Water rescues each year. We end up doing a contact rescue in the L.A. River. We're able to capture that victim and then extract ourselves out via helicopter, boat, or watercraft. Never underestimate the power of swift moving water. It takes only six inches of water to sweep you off your feet and only 12 inches of water to move a vehicle. Angela Buono and her three-year-old rescue dog got to feel the sheer power of the water when they took their daily walk along the L.A. River. The favorite spot to bring Scooby is right at the base of the dam because there's a lot of nice hiking trails and hills to go up and down. That day started pretty typical. It had rained, so I waited for it to stop raining, came here, and the river was pretty intense by that time. The water was rushing down in waves with the rainfall. It was pretty shocking to see the dramatic change from one day to the next, from it being almost like a creek to raging waters. Scooby ran down to play in the river before Angelo could call him back. Scooby actually was already ahead of me. And I noticed that the water was moving really quickly. So by the time I was able to react, he was already taken away by the river. When I saw Scooby get trapped in there and I saw how quickly he was moving, I actually just dropped all my stuff and jumped right in. The current was so strong that it was knocking me off my feet. Angela managed to grab hold of Scooby, but they were in a remote area and at the mercy of the rushing water. So I kept trying to find little pieces that I could catch on to try to secure something to stop us. It was just moving way too quickly for us to even latch on to anything. In March of 2022, Angela Buono and her dog Scooby were swept into the Los Angeles River. They were struggling to keep their heads above water. After a good 15, 20 minutes, I started getting concerned because uh, I was getting very tired. I finally saw people looking over with their cell phones saying, hey, do you need help? Gratefully, they all immediately called for help. The incident commander felt it was in uh, the best interest to effect a quick rescue via helicopter hoist versus ground based at that point. All of a sudden, not only did we see the helicopter, but you could, you could feel it. You could feel the wind from the propeller, so it was very, like, a dramatic scene. First responders call this type of helicopter rescue a dynamic short haul rescue. The firefighter came down um, and he said, you know, you, you need to release him. We'll go, we'll go back for him. And I'll never forget releasing Scooby into the abyss of the current and watching him just float away rapidly.
When I was initially rescued, they brought me into an ambulance to check my vitals. They convinced me to go to the hospital. I didn't want to leave Scooby. I knew that, you know, he was still rushing down the river. So we lowered our firefighter from the helicopter once again to effect a rescue. Again, that poor dog is scared, cold, biting. So it became very difficult to effect a rescue with that dog. We determined that as the dog was going downstream, our river basin ended up widening out, which ended up making uh, less flow and then also less depth of the river. As he ended up moving downstream, we had a greater chance of him doing more of a land-based rescue on that. Oh, this is the area of the LA River where we enacted that very last rescue of Scooby. So at this point, the LA River uh, reduced in severity greatly, and we knew that, and that's why we had this as a tactic for a, a rescue point once the dog was a little more tired out, less active, biting rescuers less, didn't have quite the energy to run around and evade us. One of the members of the Swiftwater team ended up having a piece of webbing that it was able to lasso around Scooby. Some rescues end up going flawlessly, and others get a little messy. And this one uh, was an improvised adapt and overcome, and sometimes uh, it isn't pretty. Still, the rescue was a success, and within the hour, word got back to Angela that Scooby was safe. I just burst out into tears. I was, I was relieved. I was so happy, and I was also kind of all the, all of these emotions coming out at once. When I got Scooby home, uh, it snapped right back to the good old Scooby. He went and sat right on the couch, and, you know, it was like nothing ever happened. Soon after the rescue, Angela got to visit the station house to thank her heroes. Hi. Hi. Are you guys hungry? How's Scooby doing? He is amazing, thanks to you guys. Uh, Glad to hear Yeah, it. back to his good old energetic self. And from the bottom of my heart, and Scooby means the absolute world to me. You essentially saved my child. Thank you. It seems so little. It's an honor and privilege to be able to serve you and the great citizens of the city of L.A., and uh, we'd like to end up saying that we're here for everybody every day, 365, Absolutely. 24 hours Thank a day. You guys so much. You're part of the LAFD family now. Yes, <laughs> my, my real-life superheroes is what you guys are. There were a ton of heroes out that day. Real-life superheroes is what I've been calling them because that's what they are to me.